Okay, now moving on up, oh, but I do want to make one note. When I deep condition each week, I tend to use my wonderful, beautiful hair steamer. Now I know that's a pricey um, product or tool, but it's definitely aided and boosted my deep conditioning up a heck of a lot since I've purchased it. Um, I try to use it every week, but if I'm not able to give 20 minutes to sitting under a dryer in one place, I will use my heat cap that I've purchased, which is more on the affordable side. So if you ladies aren't able to um, afford a beautiful hair steamer at this point in time, then definitely um, invest in a heat cap because they might be like, they might run like $25, $30 in different places. Okay, moving on to after washing and deep conditioning are my leave-ins. Um, I have two leave-ins that I exclusively use and nothing more than this. And that will be the Kinky Curly Not Today, which a lot of naturals um, know about. This is some great, this is some great stuff here. Now this can be used as a detangler that you rinse out or it can be used as a leave-in. It's kind of pricey in my opinion, so I definitely just always use this as a leave-in and a little does go a long now, way. Now I don't use that one, I will definitely use my Cara Care Natural Textures Leave-In Conditioner. Now this is another great one as well and it has um, some really good products, um, some really good ingredients within it like um, Shikai Kai, Amla, botanical, different type of botanicals, then it also has argon and abscissian oil and other things as well. Um, it's an okay, has an okay smell to it and to me a little of this definitely goes a long way. I've had this bottle for a while but I only need just a little bit and it gives my hair great slip and makes it super easy to detangle with. Um, this is Usually after that I will seal in um, the moisture with coconut oil. That's my favorite oil and I tend to use virgin coconut oil that's like cold pressed. Um, just keeping all the natural qualities of the oil. And now one thing that I didn't discuss and that's before I actually get in the shower and shampoo my hair or co-wash, I, um, I do like um, some type of, it's not really a hot oil treatment, but the night before or either an hour or two before, I will put this mixture of Jamaican black castor oil and also my coconut oil from Sunny Isles and I think it's like... Um, it might be extra virgin coconut oil, but I use these two and I just put it throughout my scalp and then saturate my hair with it with the last product that's within my regimen now is this As I Am Coconut Co-Wash Cleansing condition, Conditioner. Now, I purchased this from Sally some months ago and I've just gotten into co-washing a lot more and after using just plain old rinse out conditioners to co-wash, I just never feel like my hair is sufficiently clean and I don't mean like clean as a shampoo would get it clean, but I just still don't feel like it's getting any of the dirt or particles even off the surface of my hair. So I invested in getting some of this coconut co-wash cleansing conditioner that many women have been using and it definitely does the trick and it makes my hair feel like it has cleansed my scalp at least some or you know 50% 60% of the way and um, the only thing with this is you have to follow up with the conditioner or I usually have to follow up with the conditioner because it's not as moisturizing as you just co-washing with the regular conditioner it definitely does strip your hair of you know some of the oils and you have to replenish those with um, with something else so sometimes I'll just follow up with the rinse, rinse out conditioner like my Tresemme Naturals or I will just use this and then deep condition with my deep condition um, con concoction or mixture and then I'll be good to go. These are pretty much all of the products that I've been using for 2013. Uh, I know it seems like a lot but I don't use these all of the time it's like throughout the entire month I'll use it and some products I switch out so this is pretty much it. If you have any questions about my regimen, any of the products, if you have any suggestions of products that have worked for your hair and that might be possibly beneficial to mine, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will make a listing of all of these products that I've just mentioned within this video as well as when I use them, how I use them, all that good stuff.